everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be reviewing the Ipsy's March 2020 Glam Bag Plus. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Two products that came into the box that I will be talking about but not necessarily applying onto today's look just for time purposes is the Hemp's Body Moisturizer in Sweet Pineapple and the Malin plus goats, 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 revitalizing eye gel. Let's start with the body moisturizer. This is valued at $10.59. So it says sweet pineapple and honey melon, herbal body moisturizer, hydrate and refresh. So I did try this um, a couple days ago when I got out of the shower and it smells really good. It feels really good when you apply it. So I'll just put a little bit on my hands and then we'll keep moving forward. So the next thing is Malin Plus Goat's Revitalizing Eye Gel. So this here is valued at $42. Before I sat down to film, I cleansed my face like I usually do when I'm prepping to do a makeup look and I used this and it was fine. It felt nice, it wasn't like burning me or anything so that was good and then this is the bag that we received in the box it's pretty cute it says unstoppable got neon it's a pretty crazy color combination i would say but i like that it clasps that it it's not your usual zipper makeup bag it has a little like envelope button right there so i already primed my face and put foundation on so now um, we'll move on to doing the um, concealer under my eye. So one of the products I received is Complex Culture Precision Concealer Brush. And this is what it looks like. The top of the brush is really unique, so I'm excited to use this. I have another Complex Culture uh, brush that I received in an Ipsy box, and this is the Press and Set Bronzer brush, and I love this brush so much, so I was super excited to receive another one of these. So we're just gonna start with concealing under our eyes here. I use Juvia's Place Shade 20. Usually I apply my under eye concealer with a beauty blender, so we'll see how this goes here. So they weren't kidding, the bristles are really like finely packed into hair, which isn't really like spreading it out the way that I usually like to have it spread. It's very precise down the nose, which I like. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just blend out just a little bit under the eye and on my chin. Okay, so I would definitely use this like on my third eye or uh, in between my eyebrows here and down my nose. That was really precise and nice, but for my under eye and chin, I would still prefer to use the Beauty Blender. So not bad, but you know, I'm gonna use my Juvia's setting powder um, in white sands. So I'll take my Beauty Blender for this. And we're just gonna set our under eye while we do the rest of our makeup. We are going to use the Balm Cosmetics Auto Balm Day to Night Eyeshadow Palette. So the whole concept is really cute. It looks like a license plate. Oh, there we go, we opened it. Yay. So here's what it looks like on the inside. Very cute and it has different like street names for each of the shades. I think I'm going to go in with this nude shade, maybe these pinky mauves, and then also that blue, cause that blue is really popping out at me. So it has a black primer here and it says, this convertible primer will dramatically transform your shadow color. Here, I guess let's put that on before. I'll take a flat brush here. It's nice is that it has a cute like little rear view mirror. Okay, so I'm gonna apply some black primer all over my lid. I don't know how this is gonna go, but we'll see. We're gonna go in with this Las Vegas shade right here and apply that all over our lid. Taking a fluffy brush and just applying it all over. Okay, 
So we're gonna take this fluffy brush and we're gonna take this shade Beacon. And I'm just going to apply that, blend that in all over my lid as well. It kind of has like a metallic-y finish to it. Then I'm gonna take just a slightly smaller fluffy brush and I'm going to take this color Hollywood and we're gonna go ahead and put that in the crease. The pigmentation's pretty subtle. You gotta really layer it on for it to show up, which I'm kind of like, okay. So this little palette here is valued at $26.50, which I don't know, it's kind of small for that price. I don't know if I would, like if it didn't come in my box, I don't know if I would go out on my own and be like, ooh. I'm just slightly underwhelmed at this point. I've been like layering and layering and layering, waiting for something to show up. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna take a flat brush here and we're gonna take this blue shade Height. Height, Height, press it to our corners. We're gonna do a little corner moment right now. Ooh, the blue is really pretty. So then I'm gonna take this Hollywood shade and I'm going to just sweep it under here. Mm, all right, and for the colors we didn't use, let's go ahead and swatch these up. So we have Madison over here and it's like a bronzy color. Ooh, that's pretty. Wall, which is a pretty metallic gold color. Right this eyeshadow palette's cute. Um, like I said, I don't know if I would go seek it out myself if it didn't come in my Ipsy box. I received the Seraphine Botanicals Luna Liner Water Resistant Liquid Eyeliner in Black. So in short, the Luna Liner. It's vegan, GMO free, and gluten free. Made me break a sweat, jeez. So let's see what this liner has to offer. Very nice point. We're just gonna do a basic wing. Ooh, yes, it's coming out quite effortlessly. I'm like barely pressing down and it's like, oh, so seamless. I love it. All right, so let me put on some lashes, finish the rest of my face, and then we'll move on to the next and final product. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the final product. This is the Phase Zero Makeup Matte Liquid Lipstick in Undercover. And this is valued at $16. Some of the old I lined my lips with a pink liner before this. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. It's a very, very bright pink. It smells really good. It literally smells like cake batter. It glided on nicely. It's not streaky or anything. It's really cute. I don't know how often I would wear this just because it is kind of bright for me. Okay, so a quick overview of what we tried out today. The makeup bag, cute. I like the clasp, but I just do not like the colors, but it's okay, whatever. This, I do like it. It smells good. It's uh, very hydrating and nice. This eye gel, so far so good. This brush, I, I liked it when I was doing it on my nose, but for the under eye and for the chin, I'd rather use a beauty blender, but it wasn't bad. So the Auto Balm Day to Night eyeshadow palette that I can never get open because of my nails. Okay, whatever. I'm glad I received it so that I could give it a try. The pigment on the mauve colors, the pink and mauve colors were like so-so, but maybe it was user error and I just needed to really pack it on. The Luna liner, I definitely loved. This one was my favorite product that I received. I will definitely be using this in the future. I love it and I would even repurchase it again. This one, I don't know if I told you guys, is valued at $18, so Mwah. And then the Phase Zero Matte Liquid Lipstick. It is pretty lightweight, applied very nicely. Um, the only thing is the color's a little bright for me, but if you're fun and wild and you like that kind of thing, then this is perfect for you. 
And that wraps up everything for the March 2020 Glam Bag Plus box. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please share it, subscribe it, like it, click the little bell notification thing. But I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your March. Please stay safe, stay healthy. Don't forget to wash your hands and I'll catch you on the next one. Some of the old 